Hey everyone, welcome to Ellis Mowers. I appreciate y'all watching the channel as always. We're going on another Gravely here uh, for a uh, person from my church uh, who wants to get these things running so that uh, she can uh, get them sold since her husband passed uh, a couple years ago now. Almost a couple years ago. And uh, he loved Gravely, so we're going to see if uh, we can get another one running here again this is a 5665 i think it may be a shade older than the one uh that we just fixed here so it is dirty i'm going to wash it after i give you all a look around and i will see what uh it needs uh this is a bush hog attachment here on this one so hopefully it won't need a ton um and we'll find out if we can get it running and all that good stuff. I think it's just a little bit smaller of a of a machine than the other one that we're working on here. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get started. I don't really know a lot about it. Uh, I know do know that we've got to free up a lot of stuff on this thing. So, we'll go ahead and see if we can do that. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Ellis at EllisMowers.com or at EllisMowers09 on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks again for watching. I hope y'all enjoy this old Gravely stuff. New to the channel, new to me, and so we're working on it together. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Let me give you a look around. So again, this is a 5665. It's got a Kohler on it too. I have spun it over and the engine is free, so that is a good thing. Uh, got like a 20, I don't know, 24 inch, 26 inch bush hog attachment on it. And how many horsepower is this one? This one appears to be older. I don't see how many horsepower it is. Uh, would it be only, a, it could be more than a six. I know that. Uh, probably like a 12-ish if I were to guess. Uh, or maybe a 16 like the other one. I'm not completely sure. Pretty dirty though. This one was sitting up under a barn for many years, so it's going to take a little bit of cleaning in order to get all this back together. This one has a lawn and garden battery as opposed to a car battery. So, battery's a little bit cheaper than the Group 26 I had to put in the other one. All the tires are holding air. He tubed all the tires, and I was told that this machine was running at one time under his helm. So, oil is clean, oil is full. My guess would be, as long as I can get all this washed, get some of the stuff lubed up, because the transmission, I don't know if it's moving like it's supposed to be, or if I'm just not operating it correctly. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I have the trans lock on, I don't know. But it doesn't seem like it's moving as like it's supposed to, so. We'll have to work on that a little bit, I think. But obviously to get it running first off would be good. We've got, what, part, is that a, I don't know what that is actually. Maybe, maybe the dirt will uncover everything in due time. <laughs> Some of y'all older folks are probably laughing at me like, he doesn't know how to do this. I don't. <laughs> A lot of times I just see mowers like that or, you know, like your LT-1000. So, new machines here. Let me work, get it clean, show you the after. And then we'll start working on seeing if we can get this thing to run. Check this thing out. I got it all washed up. Looks really good <laughs> again, doesn't it? Wow. Okay, so I've got the battery in it. I don't know if it's good or not but it is definitely stone dead. So I put my little top don jump starter thing on it. See if it will crank over. I mean, how about that? So um, let me make sure Everything is free. Just 
Take the air filter off. Throttle is uh, offline, so I may have to manually throttle. Let me grab a little spray. <clears throat> All right. Let me give it a boost one more time. Sometimes this thing does little weird things. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can't get the fire off immediately, probably because the plug lead is wet. But let me dry the plug lead, get a good battery in it. See if we can get this thing to pop off and uh, run. So I wanted to check for spark and we didn't have any. I think the reason being was over here on the, uh, I guess you call this the igniter or distributor or whatever you want to call it for a single. This nut right here, the uh, positive wire uh, was loose. So uh, tighten that up and now hopefully y'all can see Oop, I'm in a tight spot here but oh, where's my key uh, let me see if I can get y'all a decent vantage point here that might work better Let's see if this works any better there you go I think you might be able to see it Should be, should be some spark coming out of there. It doesn't spark a couple times here and there, but I think some of the moisture. I'm gonna put the plug back in, throw some starting fluid in it. Honestly, throw some gas in it and see if it'll run. All right, guys, so um, put the spark plug back in, put gas, I don't see any leaks, that's good. And, uh, turned it over a few times to hopefully prime the mechanical fuel pump a little bit before I uh, get it started here. Ooh, we got some gas leaking out now. Ah, oh, Neil seats uh, locked up on it or something. No. Let me see if I can start it and get it to... needle and seat issue. I'd love to at least get it to pop off here though. <laughs> Probably not going to bark off with all that gas leaking out of there. All right. I wonder if it's got like a needle and seat adjustment on it. I'm going to keep working, see if I can at least get it to pop off. If so, I will get back with y'all and see if we can uh, get it to run for us. 
So we had it flooded pretty bad. It hit off one time. Let's see what we can do here. It's going to make a liar out of me now. Try a different plug, maybe. Darn, we're, we're really close. I feel like I might be flooding it out or something. Ugh. Like it really wants to, but it just won't. Uh, let's see. Throttle. Throttle up? Is that the throttle up? Let's see. reason why it shouldn't fire at this point. Just pouring gas out of the car. Probably needs a needle and a seat. wonder if I could disconnect the fuel line and get it to kick over so it's not flooding the car. Uh... Let me brainstorm a little bit. All right, so here we go. It did hit. I think I got a bad fuel pump. I think it's pumping way too much gas up through here. So I think that's my problem, but here we go. Excellent. I hear the PTO going. Is the bush hog blade going? Yes. Excellent. So PTO works, drive works, runs, just flooding. So I think I just need to get a fuel pump on this and we'll be okay. Um, all right, guys, in an effort to not have a bunch of stuff hung up here in the garage, I bought a carburetor and a fuel pump for this. I feel like the carburetor diaphragm needle and or the needle needle and seat in the carburetor has probably got issues since the fuel pump has been pushing a ton of fuel up past everything so we're taking all the good stuff off here got to take off the throttle linkage and i think that's the only linkage whoops don't lose that associated with this so we got that going on. We'll get the screws taken care of here with a screwdriver to get the air cleaner off. And then it's just all oh, the choke linkage too. But I think I could finagle that. Uh, can I finagle that? We'll see. And a couple looks like a half inch bolts or something to get this 
carb off. We'll swap that out. Then we'll move on to the fuel filter. So I've got the new carburetor and fuel pump on here. Again, it's the mechanical fuel pump. I made sure that there's no leaks anywhere and uh, we're good. I did fuel line while I was at it as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm not going to throw this away because uh, if she decides, whenever she decides to sell it, somebody may want to actually rebuild that carburetor and the fuel pump. Uh, so I'll let, I'll leave that to them. Uh, we're going to see if this will crank, run, drive, and do all that good stuff. If I can get this strap out of here or make sure that it's not at least going to wrap around a PTO or anything. I think I just got it out. So let's put it on the tripod and uh, see if it'll start on its own. I might have to encourage it with a little bit of carb spray, but I'll give it a few tries here first. keep looking I might have to pull the fuel line off to see what's going on with it but we'll see well I found the problem uh, fuel uh, pump I had the wrong way I had the pulse or the inlet line going into the carburetor and the outlet line going into the fuel tank so that explains why there was pressure in the fuel tank let me get those swapped around this thing should run after that because it did have pump pressure so that's good at least now I've got it on correctly, I think. It should start now. Let's see if uh, let's see if it does. It'll take a second, but
run any better. It will at least run on that. But what causes everything else here? like it dumping fuel in there for some reason. got a bad fuel pump or if uh, we got another bad like carb needle and seat I'm tempted to put the original carb back on to see if it runs any better and if it does then we kind of know what's going on uh, with it so let me keep on tinkering with it we've at least got it to run on full choke or we've at least got it to run which is better than what it was doing but it, like I said, it's shooting a bunch of gas out the car. It's like it's getting way too much gas again. And uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do from here. Uh, at the very least, it shows you that carb swapping isn't always the solution. So, anyways, I'll let you know what I find. Well, next day here, carb's been swapped out. The new one is gone, and the old one is back in. What y'all think it'll do? I already know, because I just forgot to bring the camera out, but... like a top probably need to adjust the idle out a little bit because it doesn't idle down very well but we'll finish we'll finagle with it i do need to put the air filter back on and all the breather tubes we'll take this thing up and down and we'll be done with this fuel pump guys and also swapping carbs isn't always the answer i'll explain why i did that at the beat at the end of the video
should run a tiny bit better but really not that bad and you see actually we're going to scrape the concrete a little bit with the skid plates there bush hog portion seems to work good i don't really have anything to use it on here uh that i would like to use it on anyways so that that's it on this um i guess we'll go ahead and wrap this video up i hope y'all enjoyed it and uh like i said we'll just do a little wrap here so there it is guys the gravely 5665 the second one on the of the bunch actually the easier one of the two i would suspect uh since i didn't have to do any deck work on this everything worked except for the fuel pump which is the only issue uh reason why i got the carburetor and the fuel pump together was because i thought that i could just go ahead and start new start fresh the way that that carburetor was acting with it just pouring gas out i thought that the needle and seat was blown out of it obviously it's not and uh the carburetor that aftermarket carburetor not a hipaa carburetor or anything like that just one that i found uh seem to be jetted out a little bit too high for this thing so uh either way the original one works that's what i wanted to do originally really i wanted to replace just the fuel pump diaphragm in that original fuel pump to keep it all original but we just went with the new fuel pump for right now i will keep the original fuel pump and give it back to the owner and tell her when that when she goes to sell it here's the original fuel pump if whoever wants to make it all original makes it all original pto works high low range works all four tires are holding air uh tell you this thing was kept up pretty well and uh i pulled this onto the trailer with a come along it was in that much dirt from where it, the dirt had kind of washed underneath the barn a little bit and uh all four tires were flat i wish i'd have filmed it and uh like i said we brought it on the trailer got everything freed up we uh put a battery in it tried to start it it was flooded out with the fuel pump put a fuel pump in it new fuel lines tried the carburetor carburetor didn't work put the original carburetor back on and here's what we have a nice working gravely bush hog really enjoyed this guys i hope y'all did this is a little bit different than the typical lawn tractor etc etc and uh I really do appreciate y'all watching. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram and Facebook at Ellis Mowers. And ellis at ellismowers.com is my email address. Thank y'all again for watching, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Take care. <laughs>